is your will, my master. What's up, Tim? A uh, quick demo video for you for your Dennis Lukianov uh, Creepy Uncle. Right, got this done this morning. Uh, you sent this to me with the, uh, it's kind of like an install kit. It's got everything that you need. I just wired it up for you. So this has uh, the Golf chassis um, installed with a Profi V2. It's got a uh, KR Sabres 28 millimeter speaker. And uh, of course your accents here in the control box work. And a two button setup. So um, front switch is your I'm sorry, your back switch is your activation, your front switch is your auxiliary, and then you've got uh, two sets of stock V3 MPXL. So you've got one there, and then if you open this from the grenade section, which you might not have to do very much, but if you do, you've got another set right there, and then you've got your profi board right here. Um, it is adhesed down to the shelf there, so it doesn't pop up on you, but you can get to your SD card and your micro USB and do everything you need to do from right here. So that board never needs to come up. Um, and we'll slap this back down in here. Um, what else is there? Uh, it opens from the back as well, right? So you wanna take this off. And when you unscrew this, the back chassis is kind of um, like press fit into this piece right here. And this is where you'll put your battery. I'm trying to find your battery that it came with, there it is. So you've got a removable battery set up right here. Um, you've got your kill switch right here, and then of course your PCB that lines up there. So uh, when you put this battery in, the negative side of your battery goes over here towards the PCB, right? It always does that, so don't put that in backwards. We'll go ahead and we'll flip this in. Um, and we'll clamp, kind of clip that all the way down just like that. I'm going to go ahead and I leave the battery in here when I ship this to you. I'll just have it flipped off here on the kill switch. Um, this piece is a press fit on and right under this obviously is your speaker. So your 28 millimeter speaker comes, the sound resonance comes out through this cutout right here and it sounds really good, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll flip the kill key like that and then go ahead and screw this in. So you got your blinkies working. Uh, cave scene blinkies, right? So red and green blinking back and forth while it's off until it turns on. And then your green one stays on right here. I'm going to screw this down all the way. Just like that. You do have to make sure this grenade section is tight so that uh, that stock MPXL will make contact with this blade side PCB that's in here. And your emitter gets power. is super loud and then when you turn it off it goes back to there um, I did get all the sound fonts that you sent me so you sent me four fonts but the LS6 font had two different versions there's a classic version and then a cave scene they're both on here um, we're gonna put a blade in here this takes a one inch diameter neopixel blade and because that uh, PCB holder is recessed down into that cup, uh, you don't have to have a recessed blade for this, which is really nice. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite Luke versions that there is out there. Uh, let me tighten this down real quick. We will want to use your blade retention. I'll show you that here in a second. Your blade retention screw being right here, right? Uh, to get to your soundtracks on each font, just hold down power for one second and let go. Do the same thing to turn it off and then just tap auxiliary to change sound fonts. I'm Luke Skywalker. Smooth swing on this guy. Hella loud, but blade lock up. Go away. This is the third one that we're on now. 
stock fonts Teensy. which I left on here for you at, at uh, you know at your request um, on all of the fonts even the stock fonts I left the cave scene blinkies uh, so that you'll have, you can see your control box right here going back and forth between red and green. Um, it does that on all of them, okay? Uh, there is also a copy of your config file on your SD card in case you ever want to change anything up. It's right there, everything that I did. Um, but we'll go over taking the battery back out or at least turning it off. We will want to uh, unscrew this again. And then just really just come over here and flip the kill key over just like that. And now the, the power is dead. We'll screw this back on so you can see it won't turn on now. Screw that all the way in. Nothing, right? So everything's working like it should. Um, that's basically your creepy uncle. Let me know if uh, you got any questions. And if not, this guy... Uh, we'll probably go out in the mail to you Monday morning because it's already Friday afternoon and uh, my post office isn't open on Saturdays. Okay, thanks.